to my body. Many days I spent with you hidden under big baggy and flowy clothes. Some days I hated all of you from my forehead to my toes. There were days I spent starving you, depriving you of fuel. Other days I ate myself into bed using food as an abusive tool. I've told you that I love you and under my breath whispered not. I've pushed you to your limits and made you give everything you've got. I spoke down to you often, said the meanest things I could say, then expected you to carry me through each and every day. I have seen you in the mirror and cried at the very sight, then turned around and dieted strictly out of spite. I've told you I was sorry, my fingers crossed behind my back, knowing the next time I was hurting, it'd be you that I'd attack. I've broken every single promise I've ever made to you, but here you are supporting me with everything you do. You never cease to amaze me how you can forgive and forget. I'll spend the rest of my life forever in your debt. Now I have expectations where it's like, if I were to do this or if I were to give you, are you strong enough? Are you capable of being someone that's going to be in my life? Uh, that's how I approach things now. I, I, and I'm not being conceited. I'm saying it's actually an honor to be with me because I think I'm a great person and I love people deeply and I won't tolerate ever being treated the way that I had been. I think everybody needs to hear this. If you shift your focus towards yourself instead of a person who broke you, you'll realize that all along you had the power to choose happiness by simply walking away. Be there for yourself. Choose yourself. Period. Bro, if you know somebody that uses the phrase, it is what it is, they are fucking dangerous because they no longer allow things that are outside of their control to affect them. They have mastered the art of acceptance. So if you plan on trying to manipulate them and threaten to leave their life, guess what? They don't give a fuck. They do not care. You can walk out their life and they'll open the damn door for you. And the best part, when someone asks them they're okay because you left their life, they're gonna say that magical phrase. It is what it is. Why is it that we'll accept things from our significant others that we would never accept from anybody the fuck else? You ask your partner not to cheat. You ask them for more words of affirmation, love, time, affection. They can't do that and you will stay your ass right there. If you needed onions for a recipe and Target said, well, we don't have any, you would go to Walmart. And if Walmart said, we possess onions, but we just can't give it to you, you'd say, what the fuck? And then you would go to Kroger's. Why? Because you adjust and adapt to the things that you need. If you had a taste for pizza and Pizza Hut refused to serve you, you would not stay in the lobby for five to seven years hoping that they would change their mind. Yet you ask your partner not to fuck other people and that's somehow something you're willing to accept. The only reason you'll accept something less than what you deserve is because you don't think you're good enough to receive anything better. And you're not until you believe you are. The moment that you believe that you deserve better, you'll start to require that. And if the person that you're with can't give that to you, you'll adjust, you'll adapt, and you'll find it elsewhere like you would in any other scenario. Mm? Things to do when you get lonely. Number one, take yourself on a date. See, y'all probably thought I was playing about that. No, I do this. I do this very regularly. Right now, I am watching the sunset from my car, you know, and would it be better if I had somebody with me? Yes, it would. But am I going to let that stop me from going out and enjoying my life? No. You know, I am very, very single and that's okay. It's okay to be single. It's okay to go do things by yourself. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with enjoying your life. And in doing this, you're probably more likely to find the type of person that you'd actually want to be with because you're going to find them doing the things that you love to do because you're doing the things that you love because you don't have to answer to anyone else. You can just do what you love without thinking about when anyone else thinks. What's your definition of beauty? Confidence. Like you just have to have that self-love and that confidence because if you're worried about what other people think about you, you ain't gonna never be confident and you ain't gonna never feel beautiful. You just gotta love yourself.
For the first time in my life, I don't feel the need to be with anyone. People say you should be alone in your 20s. I never understood that until recently. I don't want to spend my 20s chasing temporary people or things. I'm the most permanent thing in my life. So I'm going to choose me. If you want to be confident, you need to realize these three things. They changed my life, changed my perspective, and made me who I am. Number one, you need to stop believing that confidence is based on looks. Your confidence has nothing to do with what you look like. Because regardless of what you look like on the outside, the amount of makeup you're wearing or the expensive outfit you're wearing, regardless of all of that, you are still the same person on the inside. So if you do not love and appreciate the skills that you have and what you bring to the table, you can't fully be confident. Number two, it's not about being the best. When you walk into a party, you don't need to be the best dressed or the best looking or the smartest. The other people in the room are not your competition. It is about internally believing that you are the best version of you. Number three, you need to understand that no one else can validate you. It's not about how many people comment on your selfie or how many people like your selfie. Do you like your selfie? This isn't about a boyfriend or finding someone new. This is about you looking so damn happy because you finally found you. Did you know that God removes people from your life because he heard conversations that you didn't? Like he really said, uh-uh, she does not deserve that. Snip, cut him out. <laughs> Dang, he's got our back. Life gets so much easier once you realize that everything truly does happen for a reason. And I'm not even saying this is like a cliche, like through the law of attraction, you attract every person, circumstance, and situation into your life. For example, if you didn't get accepted into a certain school, if you didn't get the job that you wanted, if you didn't get the person that you wanted, the reason is we are so quick to think this is rejection when really it's redirection. What is meant for you will be yours at the end of the day. Once you realize that everything happens for a reason, you stop forcing things. You let things flow. The reason these things are going out of your life is because there's something better for you in store. By forcing things, you add so much resistance and it's literally an energy imbalance. People can feel your desperate energy whether you know it or not. The best thing to do is trust in your plan and let go. Stop trying to force things and let things flow. You want to fall in love with yourself? Well, I'm here to help you. First things first, you need to go on a mental diet. You need to cleanse your mind from any limiting and negative thoughts. So how I do this, anytime I have a negative thought or something that just like is totally against me, against me loving myself, I immediately say stop. Whether it's in your head or out loud, just stop it immediately and then rephrase it to something more positive. Stop overthinking things, stop overanalyzing the past. You need to start being your biggest hype man and you need to actually say it, whether it's out loud or in your head, say it. Whether it's real or fake, you will start to believe it, I promise you. You can't wait to find a girlfriend or a boyfriend to start loving yourself. You can't wait to lose weight or change or have a new job to start loving yourself. You need to start now and it needs to start with your mental. So go on a mental cleanse. I can talk more about this in like another video, but seriously, it starts with your mind.